challenge month. We have week one, day three. I'm going to be going over habits and uh, the habits that you have, are they good for you and hurting your structure or affecting and causing compensations? Is there something that you need to change? A lot of it comes down to awareness. So I'm going to start off with certain seated positions, especially with common workers at home or at work, if we will. Uh, and then I'll kind of explain the reasons why. So let's take, for example, this image of myself over here. A lot of people sit sway back, which then puts more pressure on the lower back. And then if you have your feet coming in more bent, it's also going to put a lot more pressure on the front of the capsule, front of the, the small tissues around the knee, um, especially in a lengthened position. Now you look at the back side of the knee in terms of the popliteus, which controls locking and unlocking the knee. That will also be contracted for periods of time. Now, if you sit and you're not aware of your position for hours on end, it's going to affect and cause compensation, soreness, pain, um, especially if there's any problem with the joint, it'll cause overlying muscle tightness or guarding mechanisms, if we will. So paying attention to all that. Now, as we go into some of these other positions, um, I want you to pay attention to if you have to set a timer on your phone and switch up every 30 minutes or so. If you have to sit um, or excuse me, if you have to use a sit to stand desk, I would absolutely recommend that. Um, ideally 50, 50 split between sitting and standing works well for most. If you can transition to either walking, moving or standing for longer periods of time, like a 75, 25 split, that'll do even better for a lot of people. It depends on past injuries, um, damaged tissue um, and whatnot with that. Now, next position, especially for your ladies, I know it feels comfortable, but it's affecting other structures from there. So this is where if you put your leg underneath your butt, especially one side, it will often cause tilting of the rib cage to the other side. It will cause your hip to externally rotate and put more pressure on the outside of that same hip um, and then jam up and cause a lot of tightness in the IT band from there. And we keep going from there. If you do two legs, especially sitting um, on the ground for most uh, ladies on that, or even crossing your legs in different directions. Um, like, like I said, for longer periods of time, that'll lead to more stress on the outside of the knees, um, depending on what position you have from there. So um, if you do spend time in those positions, um, I definitely limit that, set a timer, go from there. Now, next if you're walking up or downhill, especially downhill, and your body is absorbing the weight of every single step, um, you want to have your feet facing straight forward. Ideally, the best so you can redistribute the pressure of your body on the inside and outside. However, if you turn your foot out, um, like most people do, um, kind of going back to the image on the screen, that's going to often accompany with if individuals just worked out leg day with the glute max, which goes from the outside of the hip to the tailbone slash pelvis, if we will, that usually be contracted and that forces the legs to open up, thus leads to compensation down below. And then even on the way up, which I don't even want to get to today because there's a lot of stuff with that. Um, but if you take into consideration consideration walking downhill and if your feet are off to the side usually every step forces pressure on the inside of the knee and then that leads to guarding all the way up on the inside adductor muscle group complex if we will so paying attention keeping the feet straight forward uh, from there so those are a few things I want you to pay attention to. If you notice any other compensation patterns going on from there, um, please make note of that and try to walk and function with your feet straight forward or feet on the ground, um, sit it up for a period of time too. So that is the habits and is if you need to change anything, start now, start small. And we'll see you on the next one. Woo!